Pearl Tutorial Part 34 Chmod Okay, so Chmod is used to set permissions for the host computer about files and folders. It stands for Change Mode. Now, it's um, a set of numbers from 0 to 7 and these numbers correspond to the command types read, write and execute. Read will allow um, us to list files in a directory and write will allow us to write and add files to a directory and execute allows us to access the files in the directory. So we have our working directory here and we have directory 1, we have some files. Now if we want to mod a file in here, we use the shmod function. So now we want to shmod our text file 644. So then we put the path of the file like so. And now if we run this our file will be shmod. There's nothing really to see but it's more important on your server than your local computer. Now um, Files, text files, etc., will usually be chmod 644, maybe 666. Okay, so we can also chmod our directories, which is important too, from a script. So 755 will usually be the chmod for a directory, perhaps 777 sometimes. So this will chmod our directory. Again, there's nothing really to see. But it will mean on your server that the files in your directories will be able to read, write and or execute. Now, you can chmod a bunch of files in one go, for example, files, an array of files, and uh, we'd have to put in the path, so let's get this. We want to mod our two text files. A whole bunch of files, you could put them into an array and then mod like so. So if you're creating files and folders with a script, you'll need to do this. Okay. So I'll just put here in in comments um, typical chmod values for files and this includes just text files data files, configuration files, generally um, 0644 or 0666. Now directories seven five five perhaps sometimes triple seven but I would recommend seven five five for directories and 
of course, Perl scripts. Seven five five. So that is the chmod function, and um, is very important to understand how that works. The best way to chmod your files and folders when you upload them is with an FTP program. But when you're creating new files and folders with a script for your users or for any purposes they need it to be schmod so that they can be read written to and executed